What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated Team Rocket. You know, I took care of all of them, maybe hopefully once and for all, and uh, then we saved the director, and he told us there was a little something going on at Ecrotech City. Ladies and gentlemen, it's finally time to go to Ecrotech City and handle some business right there, and, uh, well, first things first, we gotta fly over there because we're still in Goldenrod City, you know. The City of Miracles, the city that got targeted just because. <sighs> Back to Ecrotech City. We are peaceful and all that stuff. Okay, so, yes, there is something going on right here in Ecrotech City, and that is uh, something legendary. And uh, why did I talk to this guy? We have to go right here. We got ourselves the clear, uh, the clear bell, I think. I don't know. But if you talk to this guy, he's like, a moment, a momentous event has occurred. I bid your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. Dot, 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 dot. Ah, the sound of the clear bell. It, it's sublime. I've never heard such a beautiful sound before. That bell's chime indicated of, of the bear's soul. You, you may be able to go uh, make it through the tin tower. Please do go on. Okay, alrighty, so he's finally... Laying us through, not using his quick reflexes and all that stuff. And, uh, whoa, hold on, hold on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. All right. I know what this means. Three guys wanting to take on me. Okay. Let's go ahead and prepare. So, here we are in our... I guess, uh... I guess you could say that we are we are about to meet uh, Suicune. Yes, we're about to meet Suicune. And we have to prove ourselves right here. Against the three sages, and here we have the first one. Legend has it that upon emergence of a trainer who has the ability to touch the souls of Pokemon, a Pokemon will come forth, put that trainer to the test at the Tin Tower. That legend has come true! The legendary Pokemon Suicune has arrived. We, the wise trio, shall test your worth worthiness to go inside. Oh jeez. Alrighty. Okay, bring it on. Bring it. So here it is, guys. We're taking on Sage Geku, not Goku. Geku coming out with um, his Noctowl. Okay, alrighty. He's looking all mysterious, looking all evil and all that stuff. It's good stuff right here. And here we have it, Relic. Oh yes. Still need a Psychic type move to be uh, to be any kind of Pokemon right here. Still kind of pissed off that I didn't evolve him at level 36, and that was a good headbutt, and he flinched. So we're gonna finish him off with a Bite Attack. I just realized that yeah, if we tried to use a Ghost type attack here. Not going to work, and that wasn't strong enough. Jeez. Finish him off with cut. Yeah. That's right. Cut. Hey, cut. I just beat you right there. Okay, and, uh, well, we get double the experience points right there, so he's going to be coming out with his Flareon, so let's go ahead and switch it up to Lucky right here. Lucky. It's been a while. Not really. It's just been an episode or two. You know, that kind of stuff. So here's Lucky, looking all cool and all that stuff. And yes, he does have Earthquake, so... Oh god, not that fast enough. And, uh... Wow, I missed. Come on! Freaking Flareon. Not supposed to be that good. That's why everybody hates you. Okay, let's go with Surf right here. And this Flareon is really making me angry right here. So we're going with the Surf attack. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, I love that sound. I really do. I love the sound of super effectiveness. And we're going to finish him off right here with a headbutt, but this guy right here is just going to continue on using his quick attack, and I don't like that. I don't like that he's doing this, this kind of stuff to me. So there we go. We defeated Flareon. We're freaking awesome. And Relic's finally grown to level 44. Still has a long way to go to learn his new psychic attack, and uh, stronger than we thought, perhaps. Hmm. What do you have to say? Ah, so it is you who claim that to have seen Suicune, Entei, and Raikou while they were asleep. Unbelievable! Legend has it that they can't be seen while they sleep. Well, um, you know, you, you could always go down to, yeah, whatever. Anywho, guys saying, can you be trusted with the truth? You can't handle the truth. I must asser ascertain your worthiness. Wow, that's a long word, ascertain. Me and my college experience still can't retain all these big words. So here we have Sage Masa. Take it on Sage Masa. Coming out with his Noctowl. Pretty cool. That's good. That's good. He has his Masa. 
knocked out. And here's my uh, relic. Relic headbutt attack. Yeah. Definitely don't like that attack, huh? Oh. Should have beaten him right there. Should have made him flinch! But no, foresight. He's using foresight. Let's go with a headbutt attack. And there we go again. Bye bye, knocked out. Okay, I really should take that experience share off of Relic now because it's becoming a very strong Pokemon right here. And he's coming out with his uh, Jolteon, so I do have a Pokemon for that. And that right here is Lucky. So Lucky's getting all the, the fun right now. He's just having so much fun. And, uh, well, hopefully this Jolteon won't use its, uh, its sand attack on me. And he did! That jerk. But it still works, that's right. Oh, yes. Earthquake attack. That's right. How does it feel to fail, Jolteon? The critical hit and everything. Yeah. Alrighty. Sage Moss has been defeated. I will tell you the truth, but can you handle it? I can. I really can. In the past, there were two nine-tier towers here. The Brass Tower, which was said to awaken Pokemon, and the Tin Tower, where the Pokemon or where Pokemon were said to rest. The view from the to tops of the towers must have been magnificent. At the time, an immense silver willard Pokemon was said to make its roost atop the Brass Tower. However, about 150 years ago, a lightning bolt struck the, one of the towers. It was engulfed in flames that raged for three days. A sudden downpour finally put it out, uh, put out the blaze. And that is how the burnt tower came to be. And then here comes the, the other baldy. Let me see your power. Alright. Let's do this. Let's see. So here we have another sage and his name is Koji. Koji will be sending out his knockdown of, uh, as usual. I'm pretty sure I know what his Pokemon is. Um, you know, I've been on good authority. It might be, a, you know, Vaporeon and all that fun stuff. But here's my relic, you know, the SB on Pokemon. And he's kicking some butt right now. Look at that. Headbutt just going stronger. He just flinched. So I'm just going to finish you off right here with another headbutt. Oh, yeah. Buh bye bye. out just getting butt kicked. And again, I need to switch that uh, experience share. And here he comes out with his Vaporeon, so let's go. Oh, wow. May I press the trigger just a little too quickly right here. So let's go, let's go, let's go ahead with the Evolutions. Now I can use Shadow Ball right here. Oh, yes. Takes a nice chunk of its HP, but there's that Bite Attack that we don't want. And let's go finish him off with Headbutt right now. Again, I really wish I had a Psychic type move. I really did. And there's another bite attack, and that took a nice chunk of our HP right there, so finish him off with a cut attack. That's right. How does that feel? Does it feel so good, right? That's right. Alright, Relic. You've done enough. And this guy's like, too strong. Why? Because, the legend said, strong Pokemon trainer. And he's like, you, are you the trainer who is awaited by the legendary Pokemon? I see. We, the Wise Trio, have been given the responsibility of protecting the uh, legendary Pokemon. We are to allow passengers only to those po or passage to those people who are who possess the power and soul of truth. Please do go on and enter the Tin Tower ahead. Suicune will put you to the test. All right, let's do this. It's finally time. It's finally time. Alrighty. So this is a, this is one of the parts that you don't normally see right here, guys. It's the Tin Tower. Eventually, we will be visiting this place yet again. It's not the last time. And before we do anything, we're gonna be taking on Suicune right here. It is an Ice type and Water type, or it's just a what? No, it's just a Water type Pokemon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please do not go crazy on me on the internet right here. But I'm gonna switch it up to Luck. Mm, you know what? Hold on. I'm not gonna go with Lucky right here. I'm gonna go with Kid Thunder. I know it's a risk. I don't have any Pokemon with kind of any kind of stats moves or stats affection, affectionate moves. But you know, I'm gonna take a good risk. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon first because his Pokemon's gonna be a, a task. He's gonna be a doozy, doozy of a Pokemon right here. Now another thing that you need to do as well, guys, is get yourself some. Uh, you know, a lot of great balls, and at this point in the game, you will you will only get great balls. So, 
As you can see, I have five fastballs. One lure ball, heavy ball, pokeball, 48 great balls right here, and two ultra balls. And last but not least, go ahead and save your game. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens. We shall see what happens right here. So there it is. We saved our game. Okay. Let us play. Let, let us pray. Dear sweet baby Arceus, stay out of our way. Let's go. One hour later. Okay, so you guys saw that transition. <laughs> yeah. How many freaking attempts later? I swear to God, if if Suicune does this shit to me again, I'm gonna lose my shit. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I tried a few different strategies. Tried capturing this Pokemon, uh, without any kind of status effects. Pissing me the heck off, man. I, I'm just, uh, I'm just saying it right now. F it. Um, so, here's my 12th attempt. And, uh, if you guys don't remember, I did capture a Bellsprout. Way back when. Trained him up. And I realized that, hey, I got a buddy who, who phoned me uh, something special. Yeah, he said that, hey, I got a special item, and that is a Leaf Stone. So I'm going to evolve my Weeping Bell into a Victory Bell. That's right. First evolution right here by Stone. Now, don't get this wrong. I'm not going to use this Pokemon on my team the whole entire way. No way. I'm just using them for freaking Suicune right here because Suicune, you're, you know, it's it's translation for asshole Pokemon. So as you can see, I have Victory Bell on my team right here, and its main purpose is to affect the status. Now, the last few times I tried using this Pokemon, yeah, use Stun Spore didn't really work out. Apparently, if you put it to sleep, it you got a higher chance of capturing a Suicune, but even then, Suicune is still a dick. Now, I do have Hydra number two on my team. And he is mainly going to be on my team for, you know, for this. He does have Dragon Rage. And it automatically takes 40 HP every freaking time. So, enough said. Let's go and just battle this Pokemon because, you know, I'm sick and tired of it. Here are these two Pokemon right here. Legendary Pokemon. I'm not even going to flip you guys off anymore. Screw it. That's probably the reason why I've been losing. Come on, Suicune. Let's do this again. So, for the 15th time... We're going up against Suicune, the asshole Pokemon, who will not get captured because he's just an asshole Pokemon. And here's Hydra number two. Hydra two, Dragon Rage. Now, something you have to be worried about is Bubble Beam with the combination of Rain Dance because it will hit you pretty hard. Just make sure to have any kind of Pokemon that's resistant to water type Pokemon right here. But even then, you know, even then it will still, still hit you hard if the combination works. And this guy is not missing any steps with this whole uh, bubble beam attack. Come on. Okay, we can hit him with one more, one more Dragon Rage right here. And that bubble beam is just not giving me a chance right now. So here we go, Dragon Rage. And that's some good HP. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a chance right here. I'm gonna go with Toxic Batman. Does have it's it does have a weak attack against the Suicune right here, and that gust attack will not hurt us a lot, but it will. Come on, bite! Well, this bite attack will do me good. Yes, okay. So it flinched. All right, I better not screw this up. I can do this. All right, let's go, Victory Bell. Let's go. Don't mess up. Do not use gust, man. Ah, oh, fuck me. Yeah, this Pokemon will do anything to screw you over. Come on, Sleep Powder. Come on. And there's that Rain Dance. So we better hurry up quick. We better hurry up. Alrighty. Okay. Hopefully that Rain don't wake him up. And I'm going to go with the Great Ball first. So I'm not going to waste all my good Pokeballs first. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball! I hate you. Fast asleep. Alright, the more it's fast asleep, the more, well, the less it will attack me. And the, well, the more it wastes this rain dance right there, which is good too. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Oh, come on. Stay in the ball. <laughs> he woke up. Okay. Alright. We gotta put him back to sleep. And luckily he's using Leer. So I gotta hit him. You gotta hit him with the, this right here. 
Alright, you're back to sleep. Alright, let's continue this great ball assault. Come on, baby Jesus. Come on. Don't screw us over. Come on. Oh, I hate you. I hate you so freaking badly, Suicune. Ugh. Oh, God. I swear to God, I'm gonna take all night just to try and capture this Pokemon. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball! Oh, God. He's still asleep. See, I almost captured him that last, like, three balls ago. I gotta do it one more time. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Stay in the ball, man! Come on! Two. Three. Yes! Yes! Victory! Oh! Oh, man. I just splooged all over the place. Oh, yeah. That felt good. Fuck you, Suicune. Fuck you with the dirty rake. Yes! Thank you, Victory Bell. I should probably keep you on my team, but I'm not. So, here we have Suicune, the Aurora Pokemon. This divine Pokemon blows around the world, always in search of a pure reservoir. Alrighty. You know, I should nickname Suicune to Asshole. I should. I really want to nickname him to... I really want to nickname him Asshole. Hmm. Should I or should I not? Nah, I shouldn't do that. This is kid-friendly stuff. Although, I did cuss. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to use Suicune on my team, but then again... Nah, I'm good. I'm not going to give him a nickname right now. So, he's going to Bill's house, and... Everybody's coming in, and they're celebrating. He's like, finally, man, after 15 freaking tries, you seems all awesome! Too awesome, even! Oh, wait, I've never seen a great battle that great! That was truly inspiring to see. Suicune was tough, but you were even tough, or more incredible at Draven. I heard Suicune's mystic power summons a rainbow-colored Pokemon. Maybe, just maybe, what, what went down on today will cause that Pokemon to appear. I'm going to study the legends some more. Thanks for showing me that fantastic battle. Later, Draven! Alrighty. Alright, I, I feel damn good about this, guys. Wow. According to the legend, when the souls of Pokemon and humans commute, commune from the heavens descends a Pokemon of rainbow colors. Could it mean that the legendary Pokemon are testing us? Humans, I guess? Maybe, I don't know. This guy right here is like, when the brass tower was burned down, three nameless Pokemon were said to have perished. It, it was tragic. However, a rainbow colored Pokemon, in other words, uh oh, decided, descended from the sky and gave the new life to the three Pokemon. They are Suicune, the asshole Pokemon, Entei, the other asshole Pokemon, and Raikou, the pretty cool Pokemon right there. And that is what they say. And this guy was like, the two towers are said to have been built to foster friendship and hope between Pokemon and people. That was 700 years ago, but the ideal still remains important today. That's great. That's awesome. That's good. Um, bye. Bye, Felicia. Bye. I feel good. I feel great. Wait, how many, how many great balls did we use? Oh, crud. We only used five. Guys, no joke. This is like the 15th time I, I was doing this whole thing. Especially with Victory Bell. You don't know how many times I had to repeat myself. Like, the first few attempts, without trying to affect the status, this Pokemon was screwing me over. Used up all my Pokeballs. And then, when I first tried the Victory Bell, uh, uh what, Hydra 2 thing? Turns out that I had a PC that was full, so I couldn't throw a freaking Pokeball. That's right. That's why <laughs> I was a little frustrated. And now this, yeah. It turns out pr paralyzing a Pokemon does not work worth a crud, so I found my new method of, you know, training my or trying to capture uh, legendary Pokemon. So bye bye, Hydra number two. And uh, who else? Oh wow, yeah, I took. Oh yeah, bye bye, Victory Ball. Thank you so much. And uh, let's go ahead and check out this Suicune right here. This stats. So as you can see, it's at level 40. It's a Water type Pokemon. It does have Leer, Bubble Beam, Rain Dance, and Gust. And as you can see, its defense is pretty good. Every, and a special defense, too. I kind of have thoughts of maybe using this Pokemon. I really like to use them. Who knows? We'll see.
I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. Its speed is pretty decent. It's a level 40. You know, you could learn some pretty awesome moves, like ice type moves too. We do need ice type moves. Yeah. Okay, so that's basically it, guys. Stay tuned. In the next episode, yes, we will be moving on forward. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Crystal. See you guys. Thank <laughs> you.